In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to upload a picture to a website that looks a little bit better than most pictures you see on the web. So first, let's find our pictures. Here I have about 200 pictures from a race that I directed a few months ago. And we're going to pick any random image here and bring it into Photoshop. And this picture looks like it would be pretty good if it was set with a wide angle. So I'm going to choose our marquee tool. Get the girl's head, her number, and just down to her waist. And that's about it. Then we're going to crop the image. Just like we do with a header image. But going above and beyond this, let's go ahead and choose our rounded rectangle tool. If you can't find that, hold down your mouse button and you can choose different tools here. And this is the rounded rectangle tool. We're going to choose a new layer and click in the lower corner and drag that rounded rectangle tool all the way around your image. Now let's take your background image, put it on a new layer by dragging it down. And you want to take your shape and drag it below your image. Now you can see the image is visible and has a line around the edge. Instead of having that line, click on the box over here and drag this white box up to your new layer. Now when you look back over here, you'll notice that the image actually has a rectangle around it. What actually happened, the picture now is masked with the white rectangle surrounding it. And this gives a nice rounded edge. We can't see it yet, but once we reduce the image size down, you'll see that. So we're going to go to Image, Image Size, and keep your pictures to a width of about four to 600 pixels. This will make sure that it fits within your website with room for your sidebar and anything else. So we'll make this 400 pixels. Once we do that, it's miniature. Go down here and let's type in 100 to bring up 100% the size of what the image actually will be. So you can see we now have an image that it's going to look pretty good once we upload it to the website. And let's get rid of that white border around the edge by going to Image, Trim, and it's going to trim away the top, bottom, right, and left, all the white space. And now you see no more white space except what is needed to hold the image in. Now we go to File, Save for Web and Device. Default settings should work. I have this on JPEG, high quality, and it's 12 kilobytes total. And we'll save that to our desktop and now use that picture to upload to the website as opposed to just the normal image. If we look at what the normal image looked like compared to our new image, there's our normal. And it just doesn't look as appealing to our eyes as what the new image looked like. Now we're going to go through a few other examples and do this just a little bit faster. So we go back into our folder, we pick up another runner, we bring them down, bring them in here, click your marquee tool, and we're going to do the same thing on this person.
And that's it. We have two pictures now that we've uploaded to the web that have a nice rounded look to them. Besides the rounded look, there's also a few other things that we could do with an image. Now let's put a bevel and emboss on an image. We're going to pick a third picture. And with this picture, let's go ahead and get all the runners here. Crop them down. Change the size of the image. Resize it so you can see it. And usually you can't change your background image, so that's why we create a new layer. As you can see here, you can't choose the laser the layer style. So let's take that background, drag it down. Now in the background copy, let's go to layer, layer style, and bevel and emboss it. You see that nice rounded look that we have on the picture now. And that was just a one click of a button. That's all I'm going to do to make this picture look a lot better than most pictures you see on the web. And let's go ahead and save that. Now let's close it out. And let's pick another trick to do. After we have our picture cropped, Let's go ahead and resize it down to the size that we want for print. Resize it again so you have the full size. And go to Filter and click on Filter Gallery. Inside the gallery here, you're, you'll notice probably about a hundred different options that you can choose for what you want your picture to look like. There's a lot of cool things you can choose from if you aren't very computer savvy. Just click around and see what you like. And you honestly can't break anything here. Nothing's permanent. You can click the sliders over here and do pretty much whatever you want with your pictures. For this one, I want to throw in an accented edge with this guy and use him as a logo. Doesn't look like a very good logo now, but we can make it even smaller. And that could easily be the logo for one of our websites. And that's it on picture creation.